I'm sure you've all heard about the massive conflict that's going on in the center of the world as I speak these words. Two nations are in dispute over land and brewing frustrations have overflowed the bucket of peace. One of these nations makes use of the Star of David within the national flag and the international symbol of the Hebrew religion. In this video, we will be taking a deeper look into this symbol and more specifically, we will be uncovering what it represents in our modern world. Who told you it was only those who read Hebrew who value this symbol? Do you not see how it is a symbol that is shown in numerous religions including those that came before Hebrew? Hinduism and Buddhism are two religions that have existed even before the Hebrew religion came into fruition. These two religions that originate from the same part of India both make use of the Star of David and together they boast more than a billion followers high. Let us look deeper into this key symbol. The Star of David has seven sections. These seven sections are made up of one center piece and six outer pieces. Please look at the diagram located in the bottom right of the screen for clarity. The name of David is mentioned 16 times in the Holy Quran. Since seven in the chosen number according to the Star of David, let us explore how the number seven is of high significance in the seven biggest, most powerful and influential world religions. Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, Judaism, Sikhism and Kemet also known as Ancient Egypt. When studying Christianity, in the Bible you will find mentions of the seventh day, the mystery of the seven stars, the seven churches, the seven fat cows and the seven good years and the seven bad years. Sounds like a whole lot of sevens to me. Welcome to this Star of David explanation video. On towards the fastest growing religion in the world known as Islam. Surah Fatiha known as the world's most famous poem has seven verses. In the Quran you will learn about the seven heavens and the seven hells, you will learn about the seven fat cows and the seven rounds of pilgrimage. It's almost as if the number seven is calling for your attention. Next let us shift the focus towards Hinduism, known to those who follow it as Satnam Dharma. In Hinduism the number seven is also significant. The Vedas speaks of the marriage bond that lasts seven lifetimes and it speaks of the seven rivers and the seven floods of heaven and the seven tongues and the seven forms of honey. Fair it is to say, Hindustan is a big fan of the number seven as a way forward. Now shall we scholarize upon Buddhism. Buddhism is a religion that is all about enlightenment and enlightenment is said to have seven factors. The main message of the religion is to follow the Eightfold Path, which is actually named the Dharma Chakra. The Eightfold Path is a means of controlling the seven chakras. Chakras are energy centers in alignment with the spinal cord. Good old seven is of special importance once again in this life way. Welcome to the study of the importance of the number seven, which is the chosen number of the Star of David. The number seven is of high value even so in Judaism. The Torah announces a seven-day feast, a seven-day week, and the 70 years of King David's life. When studying the ancient Egyptian religion, you may come across the Emerald Tablets. The key message of this scripture of hieroglyphics was to study the number seven and use the power for cleaning the body and mind. They said to study the seven mysteries, the seven powers, the seven lords, the seven laws, and the men of the seven. Everybody wants to know how they built those damn pyramids, but they were not hiding their secret. Some people would not agree that Sikhism deserves to be titled as one of the world's seven most powerful religions, and they would mention how perhaps Taoism or Jainism would be the better option. Considering the historical significance of Sikhism, it certainly deserves to be named in this selection of belief systems. The seven rivers, the seven netherworlds, the seven grains, and the seven holy notes of the Lord's love. That's just a little insight into the secrets of the so-called Star of David. Did I mention how the first ever iPhone was released in the year 2007? This great symbol represents the unity of religious knowledge and the nature of all material things. The Star of David symbol is referred to by many other names but the symbol stays the same. Some would say this is the symbol of life itself. Most households keep at least one wall clock on display. The clock market is a massive international market, you will see them being sold in stores, marketplaces, online web stores and auctions. Millions of wall clocks are sold every single year across the globe, millions of wall clocks are manufactured every single year. 
Wall clocks give you a sharpened sense of status time in comparison to digital phone clocks. Wall clocks come in many designs. In the clock market, what your clock represents is more important than anything else, due to the fact that it helps you to digest your perception of time. Ask yourself, does my wall clock challenge my perception of time? Or is my wall clock a winning investment? How much is my wall clock worth? And ask yourself, is my wall clock telling me the truth about time? Here you will see what is known as a clever clock. These wall clocks are distinct from the rest, they are simply the best. Imagine this, taking the world's most famous symbol and the world's most famous invention and combining them together into one workpiece. Ladies and gentlemen, this highly anticipated collaboration has led us to the one and only clever clock. The king of the clock market is here to stay. Your moods may change, but the truth stays the same. To learn even more, be sure to check out our free ebook, How to Use the Clever Clock, on cleverclock.co.uk. That's cleverclock.co.uk, my friend. You may purchase one for yourself as a household staple or a silent investment. Whatever suits you, the Clever Clock will assist you in your lifetime. Don't forget to like and subscribe, my fellow truth seekers. I don't know what to tell you but I know what's going to happen, if 1 million people buy and keep a clever clock, then we would see a great rise in collective consciousness, through this memorabilia of supreme knowledge. We would come together our strengths improve our health, wealth and relationships every single day, without fail. The symbol of united religions and the symbol of united education come together to reveal a peace of mind. The clever clock is the name, let it not be forgotten. Thank you for your listening. Hopefully you have kind thoughts for the rest of your day.